shooting in Fall River. Authorities have just identified him as 18 year old Colish Jamal Mills Good. He was killed right here near his high school. Neighbors demanding better safeguards as NBC 10's Eric Coogan reports. No arrests, no motive. Evidence markers lined up on Rock Street. Signs a police investigation is underway in downtown Fall River. Just before noon, multiple shots rang out at the intersection of Rock and Franklin Streets. I was on the corner over there, five feet from the uh, car when they approached, and I thought they needed directions. I was getting ready to go over and give directions. That's when the shooters got out and started shooting. The victim, an 18-year-old boy who attends the James Medeiros Resiliency Preparatory Academy. It's an alternative school for middle and high school students. Witnesses say the victim was about two blocks from the school when three other boys pulled up in a dark-colored car with tinted windows. I ducked around a corner here, uh, not wanting to get hit with a stray bullet. Luckily, the guy didn't have a gun firing back at us because we would have been in the range. First responders found the 18 year old with multiple gunshot wounds to his stomach. He did not survive. The school was saying it wasn't that bad, but I don't know. I think yeah. it's that bad. It, it, and as you can see, all of those road closures along Rock Street have now been lifted. Traffic is flowing normally. And though no arrests have been made, Fall River Police say they do not have reason to believe there's any active threat to the public. The shooter is still at large, which is scary. I mean, you got the mayor saying that crime is down in Fall River. No, it's up. Fall River Mayor Paul Coogan says there's too many guns in the wrong hands. You have all these guns being sold all over the city, all over the parks, all over the state. None of them are legal. None of these people have a license to carry a firearm. They haven't taken any classes. They just take it to uh, wreck havoc in, in, uh, in our city and in, uh, all across Massachusetts and the United States. The origin of the gun in this homicide is still unknown. In Fall River, Aaron Coogan, NBC 10 News.